Welcome back. So today I just wanted to quickly go over something I didn't really cover in the original Protocol Max video, but it's actually how to use Protocol Max with your phone, how to push EQ to the device from only your phone without having to connect to MySquig or Hangouts, um, doing this entirely from your phone. So it seems that people can't quite figure out how to do this, but it goes back to exactly what I said. This dongle does support Wattplay, so you can actually use the Wattplay app, which is the actual app that you see on the right side. You can see that it actually is very similar to what I showed on the PC. It recognizes the protocol maps, and it has other options that you can do. What you're going to do is on the left side, you're actually going to be playing music, as you would. I happen to have Tidal open, and it can be playing music. So this will play music, you can hear it live, you can adjust this live, and what you're primarily going to do is go right here, go into device connection and you enter it there. And then, you know, very similar to what I showed in the review, you're going to get the standard presets that come with Wattplay. And if you want to listen to these, you just kind of click them once and you can see pure is essentially flat or no EQ. And that will adjust the EQ on the device. It, I don't think it actually saves it. I think it's a temporary save. If you scroll down here, you can say save to device and that's kind of a permanent right to device, but Again, these are the presets that came with it. You can certainly use those and play with those. What we're kind of talking about here is this, and and I'll say that I got the Serene headphones, the planar headphones, the reviews, and Kiwi ears. So I got those in, plugged them into protocol maps, plugged it into my phone, and just started tweaking. And, you know, as I said, you can do this right on your phone. You can actually share this, and I'll show you that in a second, but, you know, just doing it entirely on your phone. You've got the sliders. You can go in and change Q values if that's what you want to do until you do that. Or if you want to change the gain, you can do that as well. So kind of exactly what you would expect to do from your phone. You can do that also on, or you can do it on desktop and you also do it on your phone. It's really no different. Down here, you're kind of getting a visual of the EQ as well. So. Yeah, pretty much everything that you can do that I showed in, in the web app version, you can also do on your phone and it kind of looks just like that. So if you want to try Serene and then go back to flat, you're essentially doing this, right? That's my version of flat. So you can AB your changes just by kind of bouncing between these two. And that's actually, I think it's one click less on on the web app, but on, on the PC, you basically just have to go back and forth between those. Daybreak is the one I talked to. And also I said that, you know, we're trying to get to the point where people are contributing. You'll have community contributions to walk play and those will be for protocol. So you can kind of see right here. So I have my Kiwi ears, he reviews serene high gain preset that you can see on the walk play app. And when you plug in your protocol maps, you basically pull up my EQ for, for the one that I saved. And again, this is all on the phone. Everything that I talked about that was on the web app is also accessible by your phone as well. You just need to you download the web app. And again, that's not download the web app, but download the, the Android APK, which isn't so obvious. So I'll try to make a better link for it, but that's kind of the gist of what you have to do on your Android phone. I don't think there's any iOS support or any future iOS support. And I think Crin Ear is also working on their own version of the app, which is no surprise. That is what nice HCK Octave is doing as well. Octave, I think, started out on Walkplay. People were using it with the Walkplay app, and then they switched over to their own app. So again, this model is going to be very, very similar across lots of different products. And there's a, there's, there is quite advantage of using these on the Walkplay app because then you actually get access to the shares, the, the custom ones that I have. So these are these are just EQs that I've done on Protocol Max. They're accessible on the web app. They also are accessible on your phone. And again, you can kind of one click uh, apply those on your phone. So that's it. I just wanted to kind of make people aware that uh, you aren't stuck using the web app to push things to your um, protocol max. Every time you want to change the profile, you don't have to go plug it into your PC. If you have an Android phone, you can easily do that there. And as I said, there's also some things, microphone adjustment. So that's, I think that's actually picking up the microphone on my phone because I don't have a microphone on the cable. So I think that's, you do get some microphone adjustments there. 
And if you get into some of the things like I talked about the DAC filter modes, so this is a CS43198. So you actually are going to get, um, well, we'll kind of end it there because my phone just crapped out on me. But uh, if that was working, you can actually click the uh, the different DAC filter modes or the game modes or the AB or H mode, and those would work as well. So pretty much, as I said, everything that was accessible in the web app, you can do straight from your phone. So. Thank you guys again, and sorry for the disconnect there, but I'll see you next time.